Tom, thank you for eventually sitting down with us or standing with us for an interview. As it says on your coat, you're not quite GB, but TP. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a bit about your role here and what you've been doing with us the last few months. Yeah, so obviously my, my role is that of an assistant manager in title, and day to day that means uh, getting, us, getting us ready for the upcoming opposition, re reviewing our games, um, you know, planning and, and uh, leading training with the gaffer. And uh, it's a role I love and, and one that's quite well refined now after kind of five years five years with the gaffer we're, we're quite clear on what we expect from each other so that I think that really helps the relationship but it's been a been a really enjoyable time since I joined the club and it's been uh, great getting to know all the staff and, and working with the players daily. Of course the results maybe not didn't go quite go the way we wanted to begin with and now we're starting to pick up the results that the work and the analysis we do on, on a day-to-day -day basis is starting to pay off. Yeah I think you know sometimes it takes time sometimes you get off to a um, you know get off to a flying start but good work's never wasted I, I firmly believe that and I think even in those early weeks we saw a lot of good work and we saw some good performances you know particularly like Stockport that's the type of place if, if you go and perform how we did but convert it into a win then you, you build that momentum a little bit quicker so there were some signs there but I know we're really proud of how the boys uh, have responded and continue to work hard and you know for the last last kind of six, seven, eight games, we've re reaped the benefit of that. Tell us a bit more and the fans a bit more about your background, obviously in coaching, everything like that, and also how you got to know the gaffer and the staff here along the way. Yeah, so my background, first of all, like anyone, just uh, grew up playing football, loved it, wanted to be a footballer. It, it, I'd like to say it was a failed dream and give some hard luck story, but never close, never good enough, uh, was never going to happen. So moved into moved into coaching early, went, uh, went away to university. Um, then had some roles in non-league, England colleges, because I, I went into teaching. But how I got to know the gaffer was uh, just volunteering with, with Bournemouth when he was coaching the 23 side. I was teaching at the time, full-time, uh, and managing a non-league club, but just went in as much as I could, holidays, you know, days off whenever I could get there. Um, and our relationship kind of grew, just helping at training, filming training sessions uh, for him at Bournemouth. And one day he just phoned me up and said, Look, I've, I've been offered the Weymouth job, I'd like you to come and join part of the coaching team um, down there. And we, we had some real success at Weymouth, a great time there. Um, very much, you know, like here, a club full of good people that um, go above and beyond for the cause. Um, followed, followed him down to South End, and, you know, we've worked together for, for a long time now, so it's a really close relationship. And how do the experiences you've had both with Weymouth and South End prepare you for a job like this one when you came in? Yeah, I think you're always building up your library of, of tools for lots of different scenarios, lots of different situations. Um, and I think if you have a, a good mindset about the work that you do and you take the time to do it, which, which we certainly do here, um, then you can take a lot from every day and, and you know, really learn as you go. So um, there's probably too many lessons to, to put across uh, cleanly in an interview, but it was, um, you know, we've had some really good experiences and that, that's carried on here as well. Because Robbie spoke about it in his interview, you know, you're getting here at really early morning sessions as well, just to prepare everything for the day and the meticulous stuff you guys do in the analysis. It must help with the results and the preparation you do during the games. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think you have to put that work in now. I think the, the players expect it from you as staff and certainly the gaffer expects it from us. He sets a high standard himself and really pushes us. But, you know, it is early, early mornings, um, you know, half four the alarm goes off and me and Robbie are in the car. So... Um, for us in particular, it's an early start, but you have to do that to, to prepare the way that we want to, um, you know, and to, to create a side that the, you know, that the fans can buy into. You touched on having a, a bit of a teaching background as well as a coaching background. How do you intertwine the teaching experience you've got into your coaching role now? Yeah, I think there's so many transferable skills, whether it's planning and reviewing, um, you know, sometimes leading the analysis, being at the, the front of the room, how you get information across to people is, is really important as well. I mean, each of the players is individual and, and they'll take things on board in, in different ways. So I think that's certainly something that um, I can fall back on from, from my time teaching. And how do you reflect on the season so far for you as a whole since being here? No, I think it's been a, you know, really positive. It, it takes time with new ideas and new methods. Um, physically, we saw a period of adaptation by, um, you know, by which the, the boys were, their physical load in training and the expectation went up. Um, went up very quickly and we had to manage that and uh, I think overall you know if you look at where we were when we arrived and where we are now I, th I think we've taken a good step forward towards you know pushing ourselves up the division and, and that's very much where we're looking um, but football's one of those games that turns very quickly so 
Um, we've got to keep working as hard as we are and as diligently as we are to, to avoid any complacency. And I've, I've not seen any in our preparation as the results have uh, continued to go our way. Uh, and I think really what it's taught us is the value of that hard work. You know, victories like Sunday uh, and that response from the fans during the game and afterwards, I think that really builds the idea that you can get great reward for, for hard work. So we're definitely pushing that message now. Of course, results like Sunday ultimately want you to keep getting those sort of results, keep pushing on, have the fans on your back or on with you as you move forward. Absolutely, I think it's I think it's really healthy to 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 grow expectation and to have fans waking up Saturday morning uh, and coming down to the EBB and expecting almost to see a victory. I don't think that's a bad thing whatsoever, and it's really important to help grow the mindset of our players as well. That like we expect we expect to win games regularly in this division, and we expect to. Um, pick up results, but only if we if we work really hard, if we're really honest with ourselves when it goes well, but also when it doesn't go so well. And I think you've seen that from the players that they've they've been able to respond to different setbacks and and things along the way, whether that be injuries coming out the side. You've seen players come back in and do really well. So I think that mentality as a group is is our main asset at the moment, definitely. I think that'd be the other thing as well, because with the whole COVID thing going on as well, there's been numerous sort of occasions and maybe issues at times that we've had to sort of deal with injuries and things like that and to be fair on the whole you guys as a staff have done well to overcome that and get the results we're after yeah and I think that comes from the gaffer to be honest he's uh, you know he's no excuses he always wants us to find a way whatever the scenario is and I don't think much has been made of it but if you look at the build-up to the the boxing day game and the day itself um, you know the gaffer was there on his own with George because the, the rest of the coaching staff um, you know were down with Covid and you know, we didn't look to avoid the game. We embraced it. We prepared the best way that we could. And uh, ultimately, I think the performance on the day, given the 10 men, was a really strong one. So the, there's no excuses here. And we always have to find a way, and we always will. One thing from someone watching the analysis and everything like that, the thing that you guys look, look to as the most biggest thing is the, the running stats and the hard work the players put in. And you can see that in the way they run, they press, and things like that. Has that been the key thing, are you think, in you guys coming in? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, I think when we arrived, we were really excited by the squad that we had and the, the youthfulness and the energy of it. And it's just channel, uh, channeling, channeling that and growing that and, um, you know, using that to help us attack and defend more effectively. So it is something we monitor. And Sam here in terms of, you know, the S&C physical performance is, is really on top of the data and he displays that to us as, as um, you know, technical coaches in a, in a really clear way. And that helps us to feed back to the players. So... They've bought into it. They compete with each other on it now. It's just making sure that um, we do grow that physical data, but we do it in a way that actually aids performance rather than just, you know, looks good on some of the graphs you would have seen earlier. And just finally, like I asked Robbie, how do you look ahead to this season and look what your targets moving forwards? No, no specific targets other than to, to keep growing uh, the mentality, to keep growing our, uh, our identity on the pitch. To keep growing that, uh, you know, I think there's a real engagement between the this young team and the fans at the moment, and obviously the the manager and, and Terry coming back to the club. So I think it's just to continue unifying the club through through really positive performances on the pitch, and let's see how far at the table we can go. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.